<coughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Halbard and I am the dungeon master for Dragon Heist, Dragon Heist campaign. And uh, today's episode we are Dragon introducing a new player. And uh, today's episode we are Dragon introducing a new player. That uh, just previously joined our ranks. Uh, one of my players, are, uh, one of my other players, are not able to play today. She's not feeling well, so <clears throat> we're gonna do our best with uh, just three players tonight. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the show, and if you're new to the channel, uh, please follow, uh, press the follow button, and join the community. And uh, <coughs> if you're interested in how the players have played earlier uh, in the previous episodes, uh, just scroll down on my Twitch channel and uh, press the Dark Elf image, and you will be linked. You will be linked to my YouTube page, and there is my other uh, videos I previously posted from the earlier episodes. So then, let's get to it, shall we? The previous stream. So. Hello, everyone. Oh. <laughs> Effeminate accent you were doing, which is nice. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Well, Ooh, Carter, the... have you Oop. welcomed our new player? I have. <laughs> he has. It's great. <laughs> I feel well. Who's the person who can't make it today? Uh, Casey. Yeah. Uh, she's ah, she's Casey. playing a bard. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I'm the cleric. Hi. <laughs> oh, hello, cleric. <laughs> <sighs> so let's see. Hero will. Hopefully join us. I haven't heard anything of his about he's not showing up. Uh, he just sent a message saying he'll be right here. Uh, yeah. He was just grabbing a headset. Yeah, I see that now. Uh, also, Shayan, so uh, can you yes. move your tokens? I can move my token. That. Perfect. Maybe. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> awesome. So who else is on the party? How many people party? Uh, there is... Uh, there is Sorry, we just bit... had a bunch of character deaths, so... <laughs> uh, there, <laughs> yeah, we have had an uh, unusual lot of deaths. <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I have never had so many deaths in... A campaign. I'd only count. <laughs> what, whoops. I will. I would only count mine as like me and Dale as just as one. Yeah. Because to be fair, <laughs> that was not your fault. <laughs> yeah, but still, that it's three kills, and you guys are only level three, so. It's <clears throat> intense. Yeah, it's very intense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I, I guess. That's how I change it. I'm going to change to myself as Brian. Hello, hero. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Nice I'm to shy. hear from you again. Hi. So everyone is here besides <laughs> Casey today. Sad day. Awesome. Awesome. But uh, but you guys will be fine. I'm sure you will. Yeah, maybe. I can hit stuff big. Yeah, <laughs> none of us can. Hey, well, 
gonna go into a fray and expect a lot of heat. Shut up, medic. <laughs> Let's see here. It is my job to keep you alive. <laughs> Even though I'm, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Joyous! <laughs> you yes. know what? You don't have a DM inspiration, so would you like to do the recap? I don't? I thought I did a recap last week and I had it. <clears throat> well, you're the only one who hasn't had it. GM inspiration, but if you want to forfeit the GM, you know, free GM inspiration, I already had one though. Did I not put it on my sheet? I didn't. Uh, no, you have not. You haven't pressed uh, the inspiration. Oh. Above the proficiency bonus. There. Oh, yep, I see. Whoops. Uh, I have a new follower. Hey. Let's oh see. yeah, it's me. Oh. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the community. I thought, I'd, I thought I'd try and see the the lag. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's like a five second lag between the Twitch stream and uh, yeah. Discord. It's quite mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> I think that's going to distract me. So <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, Twitch is very slow as well. So... <laughs> what? Oh, that's fun. Nice of you to join. <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah. I, ha I haven't... M yeah, so let's see. Carter joined, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel is not the only... He's just the only one. Yeah, Daniel and Casey, they are, they are the only ones who hasn't joined. <clears throat> so there's one more person? Uh, other yeah. Than Casey? Yeah. Yeah, I have a 12 cool. followers, nice. Oh, you mean uh, followers wise? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's always ha fun to have new followers. I'm okay, so. Um, my display name. But... Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll. Uh, uh, actually, I'm not gonna roll since there's only two of you. And I can't let the new guy <laughs> do the recap. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll explain. I'll, 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 unless you haven't, wa unless you watched the previous episode. <laughs> I watched the first twenty minutes. Oh, uh, okay. And then I was like, "Oh shit, I had to go <laughs> do shopping." So. No, the previous episode was only like two hours, I think. Mm. It was Another a nice place to. But it's okay. Stop. Uh, Mm. Hero, please do the recap. Okie doke. <laughs> what did we do last week? Um, we were visited by what's his name? Cromley. You mm -hmm. were visited by Cromley, Cromley and. Uh, Seth Cromley and uh, Barnabas. Yes. They asked us why we were at the manor. Uh, we told them that we were there to pick up our our kidnapped friend, which didn't work out for us. He told us to interrogate a few of the people. He, he got an interview with a jerk and they didn't want to talk to him. So we did. We found out that a puppet threw a fireball into a group of people. Of, what is it? A necklace of fireballs. No. We figured. Bigger. Let's see. My notes are here. Uh, uh, yeah, was we it, talked uh, to somebody named Fala. Uh, Fala took a body off the gnome, and he was heading towards the bed. Uh, Jezrin saw a man who was shaped like a puppet, but the puppet was moving on its own. It was on a rooftop, and her dog ran away from the block, which we later found out was a lie, which was why she was hiring. And then our team heard a plop, and we found uh, a necklace of fireballs from here. Yeah, uh, Martin, uh, Martin was only a 12-year-old <coughs> boy. Yeah. 
and Joya said, what's her name now? Ace, really, <laughs> we're pressed into that kid for information. <laughs> yeah, uh, she did. Excuse me. You also did, hey, Joyce. Hey. I, uh, I tried to be nicer. Yeah, you, you, you were, heard that. You, that you, 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 I think all three no, of you no. pressed no. the boy a little bit for information. He, he was uh, just, uh, a little I'm too afraid of you guys killing him or either uh, <laughs> capture him and torture him for inf information. Uh, it was a little difficult for him to trust you at the beginning, but you managed to soothe him down. That we were told that the body of the gnome went full. Yeah, you also told that uh, Martim has lost uh, lost some of his halfling friends in yeah. the blast. So that's about the whole story. Yeah, a lot of that went over my head, but who all these names are? Yeah, uh, what basically basically that what they did last session was that they were interrogating witnesses all over uh, Trollskull Alley for what they seen and heard, might heard, and to gain information because. Uh, because Barnabas and Seth, they gave them permission to do their own, uh, to interrogate them because they couldn't get them, uh, uh, they couldn't get them to cooperate. So they used the player, uh, the tavern owners and inhabitants to do their work for them. Okay. <laughs> and also you found right. a necklace of fireballs. Which I now wear very proudly. <laughs> necklace of fireballs. Yeah, a necklace of fireballs. And just to keep you up to speed, uh, this is this is what happened uh, the day the fireball came. If you can see the okay. handouts. Um, right oh, outside wait, the what? tavern. Player handouts, or where, where is it? um, it should have just popped up on your screen, but it is nope. <laughs> um... uh... Oh, there you go. oh, yeah, no, I saw that. I was looking okay. for, for yeah. handouts, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that's what happened right outside the tavern. How many days ago? Uh, about uh, one, two, three. One uh, one day, I think. Really? Yeah. You were interrogating you. Uh, the morning, in the afternoon, it happened. Uh, you were a guy. You were eating, and suddenly the explosion came, and uh, uh, <coughs> your sister, uh, um, uh, Diana, your uh, Darlin's twin sister, were. Uh, were out and had vanished at the same time you were uh, interrogated by Seth and Barnabas uh, uh, what you might have seen or heard and later that evening you went to the manor because mm. you you, fi you 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 were using Hero's uh, nose or his pet's nose to track down uh, Diala, and also uh, you found tracks, uh, blood tracks that led to uh, the manor or the villa. Cool. And, and there, right. you, there, there, after a couple of fight, uh, intense fighting, you found Diala in a in hostage situation, and where she, they, and there, they both died. And you retreat, uh, retreated during the night, and he, and the uh, day after, you continue with the investigation by interrogating the witnesses. 
and here we are. Okay, so it's the morning. No, it's not. It's the same oh, okay, day. Sorry. It's the same day. So it's same uh, day. Yeah, it's after lunch, uh, because uh, oh, sorry. Barnabas and Seth they came back around noon, around lunchtime, to see if they finished their task about interrogating the witnesses. Barnabas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Very, they, they are. Uh, weird bunch. I do think, yeah, this is uh, Seth Cromley. I was wondering who Cromley was, so I looked through the whole named NPC. Uh, yeah. And Barnabas Blastwind. Uh, is a... uh, yeah, Barnabas Blastwing. Okay. He's the one that's in charge, says to just uh, Lieutenant. Barnabas uh, belongs to the magistrate. He's in charge of what? Uh, he he is the he works for the Watchful Order of the Magistrates and Protectors. So he invest his oh, job okay. his job is to investigate crimes that involve the use of magic. That mm -hmm. that's that's his job. Okay. Yeah. That's why he was assigned to this uh, crime scene because uh, magic. They believe the magic was involved. Let's say my character knows none of this myself. Uh, no, that's <laughs> just key to keep you up to speed, but... Yeah. Uh, just to show you how it looks like outside Trolls Call uh, Manor. Yeah, that's the crater. Yep. Uh, this is the crater. Uh, just outside... Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's a crater. Big ass crater from and a fireball. Definitely is the middle bit. That road there is something else. <laughs> and this is the entrance to the tavern. Right. Uh, uh, cool. Okay. All right. So they were just sitting uh, in this corner of. Of the tower in the the manor, and eating and just they, the building, Ouch. the entire building and several winds were shaking and after the blast. That is scary. Very scary. So there we are. Mm, so amazing. I'm gonna go directly to you, uh, Bayem. So. What are you uh, do, um, doing right now? What is your character doing right now? Is he really here or uh, is, he, is he on his way to this tavern? He's just arrived. He's just arrived. He's got a wild of hair but put in a really messy bun, his thick beard, tattoos going up his neck, tribal tattoos going up um, to bun. Um, he's wearing like a black, no, like suit um, with white. Um, looks like this uh, barbarian in a suit, basically. But he's also got his his backpack and great. Uh, on his back and all that, and he comes into the the tavern. We get around, goes to the bar. I'm currently at the bar. Ah. Mhm. Mm so. so um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So the time is it's uh, mid afternoon. You just uh, had uh, a meeting with uh, 
Seth Cromden and Barnabas Blesswing. You? So you no, might have uh, you might thing, you might have like a... you might have just seen them, uh, but you don't know who they are. You're just uh, passed. They just passed you by. Um. When? And uh, they were just walk, they, they were just walking uh, away f- in the, the Trollskull uh, uh, alley. You don't know that they came uh, from this place. Oh, I, I... But yeah, you have met them, uh, but you don't know who they are. Uh, I, I've been most. I've been. Probably would have seen this wall. Like uh, we just got. Uh, you are just back, but I'm going to say that you are so I, I, just arrived at the entrance of uh, sure. the Trollskull Manor. Yeah, so you are okay. about outside. Uh, so you are here outside the door, main door. Oh, okay. So I wanted to go, go in to go to the bar to try and find a room. To, for the week. Can, do I hear his footsteps as he approaches? Yes, you do. You hear someone coming up the stairs with big heavy steps. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> abruptly open the door oh. with my with the door wide open. My hands, I'm one hand on the door and be like, "Hello, welcome to the to our tavern. How are you doing?" Oh, uh. Thank you. I, I I don't know how to answer that right now. How are you? Do you own this stuff? Oh no, oh, my friend over there does. I just live here. Oh, um, he points. I, I need a place to. Yeah. Okay. He points to this guy, and I'm gonna. The knight in the corner. Yep. Y- yes, this, the, this night in the corner here. Does he always wear even inside? Uh, he doesn't yeah, wear his seen. armor right now. He <laughs> he's just wearing okay. his uh, normal clothes. <laughs> okay, good. Ignore you you can you can you can <laughs> see uh, there is a sword hanging uh, uh, on the oh, wall here. Next you're to all, the bar. You're all uh, adventure. Mm-hmm. Oh. Then it's, I guess that's so. that's yeah. I I follow you. I follow you. <laughs> that's that's good. Um, I'm I'm looking for a way to gain honor, to gain. Uh, to, uh, a name. <laughs> I don't know about money, but. Maybe on her? We'll do have to see if the if our lady luck says you get it or not. Who's this lady? Never heard of my lady luck. Bought it for a few was six months or so. Well, she's the one who gives me all my powers, how I heal people, and how I take care of my. You you have my. Oh, it's mostly holy magic bestowed on me by me. I see. I'm not used to magic. Every time I see it, and I'm always amazed. This was not allowed in my in my view. It's... Wow. Uh, so, so I... Do you have spare rooms here in, in the top? Person tells you, yes, we have a spare room here. Would you like to hire uh, well, uh, rent one? Yeah, if I could. Oh, if you're looking for uh, for help for uh, adventurers, you know we can we can. Well, we, we always can, uh, well. Uh, you have to ask the other ones. Uh, I'm just a partial adventurer right now because I have a duty to maintain this tavern. 
Oh, oh okay. I, I see. It's it's not connected. I thought uh, I thought maybe it was you know a headquarters. For... Well, they use it for headquarters. Cause... Yeah, for their I... headquarters. We uh, and I used to belong in their in in their party, but I have a business to run. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I, yeah, and I have a staff. I need to. Would I maintain so? Me too. <laughs> uh, so would I have heard about the fireball? Like I've been in the sea recently. Uh, you heard uh, rumors about an explosion in the northern ward. Okay. Uh, okay. So you would have seen it coming in too. You, you oh. would have seen the crater. Oh right, the well. big crater. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, but you um, you don't know that crater. Else. <laughs> okay, so that crater is that the uh, the explosive? Heard about? Maybe it might be. Does it draw people here? Does it draw people here? Well, it is drawn me here. <laughs> I figured that if there's anything I can help with, I can. So if you need. Protection, or you need. I'm, I'm a good. Hmm. Well, you seem useful. I'm the very big, useful. The, the big guns doesn't do anything anymore, apparently. Well, why? It's very hard. Uh, you hear a call. Oh! It's a little lizard boy. I, I'm not sure it's wise to call him a little lizard boy. <laughs> oh, you get oh. that right, sir. Um, so, my only experience of your kind has not been positive. Yeah. yeah. But uh, well, you seem po with me in the I'm. Continue. <laughs> but no, yes, right, uh, guys, you uh, are very laggy. So can you please uh, disconnect from Discord and uh, uh, re uh, from my server and then uh, reconnect? How's that? Uh, a little bit, a little bit better, yes. Okay, I hope so. Yeah. I hope it's not yep. the new headset. I bought. might just be the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Um, but yes, about the room. Um, I can pay in advance for a week. See if how it goes. If you like me. Otherwise, if there's not enough honor or or, or anything to be gotten here, I'm gonna have to move along. Well, that's fine. You don't have to pay in advance. Yeah, just I will keep uh, I will... tab on uh, tab for open for you. Okay. Okay. I will give I'm you a honest. price much later on. Uh, I'll give you a t uh, a bill later on. I mean, so do don't you worry about we'll... that. I mean, what are we what are we looking at here? Like, it's not going to be like. Tens and tens of gold, is it? No, nothing like that. It's okay. only gonna be half that. <laughs> so ten. No, no. Don't you worry about that. We will come to a good arrangement. Depending if you say if you survive. We have a tendency of losing new party members from time to time. That's why I felt it necessary. It's to, it, it felt necessary for me to uh, retire, uh, semi-retire from adventurings and just maintain That's... this uh, tavern. I will do help. Uh, I I will ac actually help out if need be, but otherwise I remain here. Okay, uh, it's a, it's a bit worrying. I'm I'm hard to kill. <laughs> I'm a, do you 
accept me? What what what, what are you doing at the moment? Do you have a mission? Uh, currently, I don't think we have anything going on. Not We're sure. supposed to either go to a t and talk oh, to that yeah. dead or go investigate the puppy. Hmm. Those the All those things, things sound ridiculous to me. <laughs> but what will the puppets say? Well... <laughs> A lot of things, apparently. They're very... That is... You had some clues on where to go. I, uh, you, you have a few directions uh, that we talked about uh, last session. About yeah. uh, checking out the morgue. Uh, to hiring, uh -huh. hiring a priest to... Uh, talk yes. to the dead. Uh, you also yeah. had. Uh, you also know about uh, the Temple of Gond, uh, especially in uh, Casey's or Eighth case. Uh, her character is where her character is from a realm where they talk about their, uh, this god. Hmm. Lead the, lead the way. Uh, excuse me, I have to help my girlfriend a little bit. She's losing her mind. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, she can't make the you know, TV work, so... Oh, okay. Um, we should go I think so this means we have to catch it okay up. well if he dead I'm going to hurt you I can protect you I don't think they're <laughs> welcome <laughs> well it's going to be nice to have someone else in the front you're you're Frontline player. Well, I had to be because it was just it was me and my weasel, my weasel man. <laughs> you, you and your my little weasel. weasel. Oh, my, my weasel's about five feet tall. Not too little. Well, Where is this weasel? Is it here right now? <laughs> yeah, that's the weasel. Oh god! So it's a huge five-foot weasel. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Uh, I'm writing it. Uh, and this, so, this, this is a pseudo dragon assume... that's uh, sitting on a chandelier uh, above your head. Okay. So I assume I was utterly shocked at all of this. <laughs> uh, you haven't seen anything yet because uh, you are about to be served a drink uh, that comes flying towards you for some reason. <laughs> You drugged me? Uh, <laughs> yes. You didn't know? Uh, you are being served uh, a drink by this thing. Can I see? Yep. That's the... What? <laughs> what are you? What is this a, a spirit that you are keeping here? Have you trapped uh, he writes on a board that says his name is Lif, Lif and he is a specter that serves this Hello. family. Are you, are, you, are you happy? He tells you in, a, in writing that he was, used to be a bartender here when uh, the tavern was open long, long time ago and he feels that it is his duty to keep on serving the new tenants of this place. Perfect. There's nothing to complain about. 
Thank you for the trip. How much do I owe you? Uh, says it's on the house. Oh. So homely. Honestly, yeah, uh, in the sea walk this, world, this if they place, don't really like me. <laughs> this play, uh, Persimmon says that uh, this place might surprise. Uh, it's a big place for weirdos to live in. Uh, you see, <laughs> the uh, these three guys, uh, they were recruited by. Gale, a previous cleric, uh, he was the previous owner. And they were used to be mm. thugs that terrorize people. There are four yes. of them. Uh, here comes the fourth one. Uh, they, they used to be thugs, but uh, Gale, the previous He's owner, he managed to uh, convince them to... Uh, Quit doing uh, stuff like that and came uh, come working in the tavern. And also, uh, I don't think... and also this oh. ghost that it was uh, he he was here before the characters arrived and he they managed to well come to an agreement. Anyone else, this tavern might look like a front for a gang or something with all these thugs here, but doesn't really know how to recognize who looks thuggish or what, uh, because he looks like a uh, huge talking about variant, so... Persman <laughs> uh, tells uh, you that uh, there is a stuffed uh, beholder in the living quarters. So, a giant-sized uh, stuffed beholder. Rolf. Should I roll for intelligence uh, uh, or something to see if I know what that is? Mm, <laughs> uh, try to roll an insight. Insight? Uh, uh, or. History, really. History. To see Three if you history. can. I got a nine. <laughs> nine. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you think that the beho beholder, behold, uh, beholder you think that... Uh, I know what a beholder is? You don't know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, beholder yeah. is something <laughs> that can do. see in different direction and they are something you don't want to meet in a dark alley or in any alley or anywhere. You should just run from them. But they should sound familiar to us, right? Because Xanathar is like a big influence in the city. Uh, yeah, uh, if they know the rumors uh, of him. Wait, do people know that Xanathar is a beholder? Or is that just um, player knowledge? They, I think that's just player knowledge. Uh, no one really has seen Xanathar. Even though he published a book, that crazy bastard. <laughs> 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 but uh, your history about uh, beholders is that they resemble something like this, Joyce. So do I know that? Uh, you think that they they beholder um, it looks like someone? Uh, you think it, it might be someone? pet or uh, are they using this <laughs> thing as a pet or it could be you, you okay. know if it's big or nasty or uh, so you have it, a animal you, you actually have no, no clue of if it's this, this thing uh, this kind of beholder is something to look uh, be watchful over it's, it's dangerous uh, last plushy animal. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, sounds cute. Go with that. Beholder. What am I behold? Uh, 
that I don't know, but it's up there. <laughs> uh-huh. Pretty big too. Anyway, talk to that dead body. All right. Hey, uh, down to whose fight. dead body is it? Nelsy. I feel okay. no. Yeah, I guess I won't ask questions. And uh, let's see. You <laughs> spoke to the witnesses. And then now you uh, is do you want to go to the morgue or do you want to go somewhere else first? Well, we uh, need to hire a two cast rest speak of dead. Yeah, you need to go to a temple and uh, hire a priest. I think we came to the conclusion that Carter. Oh, could I? Part of a guild. Yeah, I was. I'm part of um. I forget what it's called. It's uh. Oregon. So you want to, you want to speak with dead people, but your 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 cleric can when is that not a power that you have? Um, not quite yet. Oh, I don't think. Oh, it's late. I... Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me recap that. I forget what level it is. I think it might be third. Uh, let's, let's see. see. Speak yeah, with dead is a uh, it's so. a fifth level. It's a third level spell, so... but you need to be level five to cast it. Yeah. Then... Yeah. <laughs> okay, you kind of know that the, you you kind of know already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what spell it is, but you're you also know that you're not. Power, uh, powerful enough to be able to cast it and even control it. <laughs> it's best if we get a professional to do it. Right. But I walk. Go. Oh, this this bard this with us as well, as well. Yes, you have a bard with oh, you. Yes, uh, eighth. Is her name? Did I tell you all my name? No. Ah, it's it's number of the uh, thunder beast. Well, uh, this is a like, like a dragon. Oh, I don't know either, but uh, a a necklace from under his suit scarf thingy. And it's it it's just like a a like wooden totem, but it's kind of like a different thing. Mm. Um, seen the Sunder Beast, but it's, I think the, the knowledge of what one of them is has been lost to generation. Mm. <laughs> I hope some. I got. Javelins. I won't say no. I can't eat and so. so yeah, javelin. Do, yeah, I give you, you, <laughs> you four javelins. Sorry. I give you four ja- javelins. Oh yeah, you had some javelins. Wait, am I getting? Bro. Yeah, I took everything off a gale under. So you give me a javelin. Four, uh, four javelins. Four javelins. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna put that in my. So I don't have javelins. No, you I don't have you javelins. Use them. They're too big for me. <clears throat> then, and fantastic. Thank you. Them. So I just put them on my back with like all the other weapon attacks and a war hammer and a shield as well. I got two the more to the more. <laughs> yeah, so you know that the dead were taken to a city watch station in North Ward. They kept, they were kept in the cellar, uh, cellar morgue, so you actually know where to go, and you you have a, a small direction on where you can find the local temple. There are several several temples. In the city where you can uh, ask a cleric or a priest 
to do this service for you. Uh, um, cool. Uh, which, which priest? Do I know any gods of the de dead or something? That I think that, would be able to help? That depends. Should I roll something to see if I... Roll a history. Think. Where should I go? <laughs> uh, Wouldn't I know? You, let's see, Ram. You might know of a god, uh, god that speaks to that, but I don't think. Uh, but you don't think that uh, calling to these gods might be a good idea here because they uh, holy people might not like. Or cherish this kind of god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you do know of, of a couple of gods, but... Uh, uh, so you think that... Uh, you guys think that the right uh, institution might just be to hire a cleric for from a local temple. Personally... Gods that I know, I know of Uthgar, and I don't know if there's any followers of Uthgar around. Maybe we can. They, they will be able to. Those. Is Egypt at all in this? I mean, I I've heard um, my ex-wife used to say when I talked about Uthgar, she would just repeat that it's the same thing as. But I don't know about them. Mm -hmm. So okay. maybe people who follow Tempus will be able to help us. Yeah, I would. You know, the only thing I know. Tiamat. Well, <laughs> you say your lady. Can you get uh, to a temple of, of a clear um, She doesn't usually have a temple. It's usually a rolling band. But we can go to another. And find God. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you a... can uh, you can e easily find a temple uh, with uh, with clerics. It's not it's not far. Okay. From where you are. Let's so. just go to. Uh, on. What's what's the closest temple? Uh, uh. So you guys go. Well, you are you guys moving out or are you just preparing yeah, to move out? Yeah, yeah, man. We're going out. Okay. We're gonna find a temple. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna move you up to the main. So, you guys see the main. You guys are here. Where are we? You are. Oh, yeah. Up in the yes. north board. So this is Tarl Skull Island. This is where you. There's this great interactive map of Waterdeep with like all the thingies on it, which is really cool. Yeah, it's a good map. Yeah, you know it. It's like this French website, but it's all in English. So. Yeah. And. You might actually find a temple right over here. Temple of Beauty. Where? Do that again. Over here. Oh, we walked far. Temple of Beauty. Oh, we're back in the sea wall. Don't let people see me. Yeah, it also, remind, it's going to take you a few <laughs> hours at least because, yeah, it's cold and stuff like that. Two uh, hours? Well, it's a long way, so let's see. Okay, it's feet, so it's not <laughs> like Christ. Hang on. Uh, Should I look on that other website? No, I just have to fix it. 
let's just say that this map is in meters. So no. Well, l let's just say that it is like a mile. Uh, so, but uh, just to be clear, it's snow. It's it's freezing cold. Think of it that it's like minus okay. twenty five, minus thirty degrees outside. So yeah, seventy three okay. meters is nothing. Well, yeah. Well, excuse <laughs> me. Uh, um, on another map it says seventeen minutes, but if it's cold, then it's like doubled. Yeah. So. Next. Never mind. Ne ne <laughs> never mind. Let's just do. I'm gonna do it like this. So, who is this Temple of Beauty for? What does it look? What is, does it look like? Uh, there's no map on it, but it has some <laughs> pillars. No, I don't have maps for everything. No, it's okay. We don't have to see it. Uh, well, uh, cool you can though. see that the uh, it's like a big stone building. Uh, it's bigger than the the other buildings in that neighborhood uh, it mm. has some uh, not very high spires uh, but it has a few spires and uh, it has like uh, two pillars that are about 15 feet high in a, uh, just above uh, three feet of stairs and holding up a big uh, big wooden door that it's a bit uh, more like a gate uh, but a little bit smaller so there's a uh, you, the, the gate is split in two so you can open each door but uh, it's big enough for a large creature to enter amazing and inside uh, when you open the door inside you can see a big big chamber uh, uh, and there's two sets of stairs on each side that goes like in a, cir a half circle going upward to a balcony you can see three doors you can see one door on each side and you can see a bigger door in the middle of, uh, underneath the balcony you can see people uh, there's a lot of people uh, you can see about 15 people just walking and talking to each other. They're all wearing ropes. And they wear, they have staffs. And uh, You can see also see uh, two guards standing behind you inside the temple doors. Wearing, uh, mm -hmm. plate, uh, wearing plate armor. They're also wearing maces and shields. And they have spears. Okay. Um, who is the god for this church? Or temple? Mm. God damn it, I don't have my place handbook. Um, I forgot to bring it up. Out it's of down, character, my, I believe it's Sune? It, would it be Sune? 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 She's, if it's a temple of beauty, then she's... Yeah. Uh, I have made. If you're if you're going with the Faerunian yeah. pantheon, I just assume yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe you changed it. Just cool. Uh, and one of the big, uh, one of the priests comes up to you and says, "Hello, welcome to the Temple of Beauty." What? Hi. Uh, what? Uh, what draws you to our beautiful temple? It's not how it looks. You what? <laughs> You're going to stay with it. Who recently passed and 
we need someone to do it for us. I can't. You're all beauty and stuff, but I need you to do this. Oh, you want to hire... You need a, a priest to help you speak with people that just died. Yes, that's what I just said. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, if God, you give, really if you would be so kind, if if you are, we can do this for you. If you are so kind to give us a donation of twenty five gold. Twenty five. How about twenty? Um, Silver. Do, do you have Do you have any anything that you might be me looking for? Do you have any qu quests? That we can help you with, perhaps no, in for, payment. Not for a, not not in a moment. No, uh, we don't have it's it. Uh, um, if you want a service, it's gonna, cost, it's gonna cost you 20, uh, 25 gold pieces in donation, because speaking to the dead uh, are it's mostly not what our type of priests do. But, uh, what uh, kind of priest you can go? Do it. Do we have a, a time? limit on all this um, oh, we, we're, we're not saying we can't do it uh, but it's gonna cost and I have a feeling that most temples would like to have a donation the of, the cost, same, but... of the same kind well it's to hmm. sir, help us uh, uh, when uh, with helping other people if they come to more and they or they come to pray and okay. help share our food and come and then come in and warm from the cold. Well, well then, um, I mean this temple is so beautiful. Yes, it is. I don't we think very, that your money goes. All to, I don't think your money goes only to the people. Oh yes, it does actually. And how do you keep this temple so beautiful? Well, we use the money to help pay for people to help restore the temple as well. Is exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna exactly. nudge. No, it's all right. This is not my. Uh, this is not my problem. Sorry. But if I'm you just, want your, uh, if you want our help, how, how, let me just ask: How long ago did they die? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, we have, still have time. Uh, there's only a small limit on, on speaking to the dead and then it passes we have a small window yeah i know it, it, i can cast it my, i would cast it myself if i could anyways 25 gold you said yes um we have 10 days before it's you know they can't um <laughs> did it come with us uh, uh Ace is, is with you, yes. Okay. She she has four um, gold. She has four... <laughs> Re... No, she should have did... 20. She has 20. We, we all got paid 20 gold. Okay, she hasn't added to her sheet then. Um, Unless she spent it on something. Does the party yeah, bank not get uh, updated? Yeah. Oh yeah, you have the party bank and you have 68 gold. Oh. Well, five gold from the first. Well, I'm going to tell you now that I don't feel comfortable paying this because you know I'm new. I'm I'm only here for now. This is your uh, your thing. I want I want to help you, of course, but uh, yeah. If you guys retract, you you guys can retract uh, the twenty five gold piece from the party bank. I think if we each pay five gold, excluding Brown. Uh, so me. Thank you. Joyous. I will sketch. Let's see, Preslin, he has 139 gold, so yeah, he can definitely pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't really pay that because he has to pay back the loan. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, he has to pay 200 gold before the month is over. I don't think he wants to spend it on this. Nope. What does he have a uh, loan on? Well, from what I heard, the tavern. We'll just take it out of the party bank, I think. Well, yeah. we'll do so me, you, and Eighth will all give five. Well, Amy has gold. Oh, and, and Amy, so we'll just yeah, we'll just take five from the party bank, and we'll all give five. 
right, so I'll take off five from the party fund. Uh, okay, so eighth is to retracts five, yeah, it retracts five gold from her 24, so she has 19. And I'll take away 10. <laughs> and you just put them in a small bag altogether, or are you using uh, several bags of gold, uh, uh pouches of gold? One, well, I think one bag is fine. Like I, I hand yeah, you. You like, just put. Actually, it, you, you, know you, just, you just take out your pouches and you just take out the uh, garbage coins and just give them to the temple, uh, temple priests. Mm-hmm. Um, where's your closest shrine? I would like to pray. Our shrine is just inside the big door. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna start walk to the to the shrine, pull out a copper piece. And put it down on the shrine and say, ha, take that. <laughs> it's my version of defiling her church. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. donate money and that's defiling? <laughs> yeah, they only deserve a copper. I'm but sure they're happy copper, with that. A copper is still a copper. It's still money. They, <laughs> well, no, they, they, they just require the, the donation for help if they need someone... Because you don't uh, remember that you require a high level priest, uh, priest or cleric for this job. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the reason for the like donation. Research. And the donation prices is different uh, for the uh, different services depending on uh, what difficulty of the job is. I want to know why are you still calling it a donation when clearly this is just a fee. Well, we are asking for a service, yeah, <laughs> and well, we're paying for the service. It's not a donation anymore. Well, you're not paying for the cleric, <laughs> my, uh, my dear sir. Uh, you're just. We will gladly help you, but we are in need of donation because we uh -huh. have a hard time this winter season <laughs> to. Survive. You're not so you know, full of bullshit. My, my church doesn't actually have <laughs> buildings. We just walk around and live that way. <gasps> Lady yeah, Luck. What is the name of your of your your goddess? You say Lady Luck, but does, does she have a name? She does. Hold on. <laughs> I haven't looked in a while. <laughs> Alright, uh, like I said... Ta Tiamora. See, there you go. Uh, wait, I, I'm just gonna quickly roll religion, I guess, just to see if... Basically, all knowledge about this stuff comes from my ex-wife, so if I know it, it's because my ex-wife told me about it. Okay. <laughs> 13, do I know who Tamora is? Uh, you might know. Cool. Uh, sure, then... Then, uh, Timora... Yes, Ta my Ta wife, uh, Taimura. my, my, Taimura, my, my wife told me about her, um, gambling and stuff, right? Like, circuses. Yeah, a little luck. bit, we're a bit theatrical here and there, but. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I've heard, I've, I think, um, we went to see a circus once and everyone was like, uh, by Timora's luck, try this game, and, well, I didn't win much, but, oh. so, she seems fun, your goddess, <laughs> she makes She's me laugh. Mm. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> she does. But, uh, you guys uh, played should, Baldur's should Gate, uh, that's basically all I'm thinking about. <laughs> we, we should get going. If you want to speak to the dead before the night, before night falls. Yes, let's go. <laughs> and you just hired uh, the high priest. Sick. Quick question. This is between the, I guess, the party. Are we getting paid for this? Um, this is a good question. I don't think we are. We're we getting paid to interrogate, but are we getting paid no. to find out? No. Yeah, you are not getting paid, but you are doing this to get more clues. 
Barnabas and Zach Cromley hasn't uh, he they paid you for uh, interrogating the witnesses so maybe if we solve this for them we'll get more gold we'll get another 20 gold maybe maybe not or you get maybe you get more <laughs> you never know or they might have they might arrest us for interfering in a in an ongoing investigation. Well, they, they gave they gave you permission to interrogate the witnesses. Oh, so, that's true. They did, <laughs> even though they specifically ordered you not to uh, interfere in the investigation, but technically you haven't interfered yet. You only. <laughs> When you get uh, uh, when you went to the Graalhound well, you were searching for a team Ayala. teammates yeah. that were missing. You went by your guts yeah. and your skills and senses, and that's where you uh, tragically lost Diala and her brother Durden. It you couldn't you couldn't foreseen it so. Yeah, well, that happens. People die. Yeah, and you also <clears throat> that uh, you, you were noticed by Barnabas spies. Yeah. No, you humans are weird. That's all I know. <laughs> We'd eat you because resources aren't scarce in the winter. Mm -hmm. So yeah, well, they are. I don't oh, taste I very good, so perhaps you shouldn't. You do have two corpses in the backyard if you get if you get hungry. Yeah, that is true. I could go over there and dig them up. <laughs> and have, have a this is true. Well, Joyce, if you can, I, 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 I'm not sure sure about how the rest of the party members would feel that you go into, back, about... into the backyard and digging up the corpses and start eating them. Well, they weren't complaining when I gave them their stuff, so they should have complained when true. I eat them. Unless you want to do it in secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um, can I ask, in, in this version of, of Waterdeep, does the Tower of Luck exist? Because that's meant to be a temple of tomorrow. I um, don't know, because we're <laughs> doing the winter version of uh, Waterdeep. Uh, but I mean, do so, the so buildings the, change in the winter? Uh, no, no, but the story changes. And the vil ah. villain, the story and the villains change depending on what season you're choosing. Oh, uh, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Nice. So am I. And since it's starting to get uh, cold and w winterish over here, so playing the winter so season, I'm wearing that scarf, it's <laughs> quite suitable. So are we getting that, that cleric? Is that cleric coming then? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we just paid. We've just been waiting around, us talking about gods and eating people. Wow, you have been talking <laughs> and walking, so we... <laughs> at the same time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, what are you, you guys going to eat me if I die? I, I would hope so. No, we don't, we don't eat don't, uh, don't like lizards. Strange <laughs> punch. Strange punch. That's a lot. I don't ever, ever understood you, you peoples over in these towns. Whatever. Animals. Oh, well, cannibalism was frowned upon in my village. Well, what if you're really <laughs> hungry, though? There's pl well, there plenty stuff. of deer and everything in the uh, in the high forest. Let's see. I get that, but if you're out of resources like food, what if the deer are gone? And you're hungry. There are spells. Eat. Summon food. We have shamans. That's a thing? You guys can do that? Yes. Yeah, I can't food. personally, but uh, I think uh, I had a, a sister. Oh, well. Who can do it? Most of us weren't really good at magic. Mm. So, we weren't really <laughs> summoning food. It's understandable. <laughs> You only have one that might be good to magic, and that's the bard. I could probably do it. Yeah, you, I think clerics can do create food. Yeah, clerics can also maybe create, uh, create food yeah. and water. I don't. Think I mean, we I, don't I, like not, magic in my village, but <clears throat> religious magic yeah. is okay sometimes. Yeah, Bimer, you know, the eternal fire really, really 
keen on teaching us how to use magic, so just the way I went. Mm. So on to the corpses, I suppose. Mm. Let oh. me just ask you one thing, Bea. Uh, yes. Uh, have you yeah. ever thought about what faction your character has joined? Um. Uh, he hasn't joined any yet, but in terms of who might approach him, um, because he's looking for honor and stuff like that, and to impress his his ex-wife noble's family, maybe the Lord's Alliance might be someone. That will, yeah, so if you uh, pick Lord's, like... a Lord's Alliance, you will get your first re uh, renowned, because uh, the other uh, characters have already done the second level mission. Ah right, yeah. So uh, right. I only thing I only need to know if you're with an ally. Uh, in fact, it, it it's not necessary to join. A... Yeah, it's I not, think it's not, not crucial. It's not crucial either to the story if you you haven't joined the faction. Can I later? Because yeah, I'm going. Absolutely. Yeah, because right now he's literally just been kicked out of the house. So. Yeah. <laughs> So, so it's not well, no, really necessary. It's, it doesn't have an impact on the story if you're not part mm. of a faction. Mm. So well, for some reason, yeah. you want to join the Lord Alliance, but a hero is part of it. You are. Um, I don't know much about it, but I've heard that um, it's full of honorable knights. Yep, and so the uh, heroes join. Heroes like me. Yeah, oh, that's, oh. that's that sounds good. I, I I feel like I could be able to to help. That I could be able to make something out of myself. Uh, okay, hero, you can actually tell Beam uh, who to contact if he uh, because your your primary contact to the Lord's Alliance is uh, this person. Yeah, it's just two Uh here, so you can actually tell him that uh, this is your contact, and he also gives you. He's a, he's like an agent walking around the city to give missions to uh, people. Yalister. Yalister Silvermane. Uh, he he's he's the he's the con primary contact for Lord uh, for heroes character. For, for Daniel's character. Okay, he well, was... if you can send, if will he come to the Triari? How can I meet? Uh, well, well, Jail Star uh, Silverman usually hangs out at the the Yawning Portal. So if you ever find yourself that way, he's usually hanging yeah. out there. He's yeah, either that's... there or he or he. I've will never been, to... but I've heard about it. He's he either he's there or he will come to your tavern to give you a mission. Yeah, so you can go look for him, or you can wait for him to show up. Yeah, I would love to. It's if if uh, it's something that listen. Um, the the reason really is that uh, my ex-wife she um, she is part of the nobility. She her family is very important, and they don't approve of me. Of my my origins, and therefore, do you think this faction, this Lord Alliance, will be able to bolster my reputation, my uh, my honor? <laughs> well, we should. I mean, look at me. Everyone knows me. I'm a hero. <laughs> you're a hero. Oh, is that how you got is... your name? Yep, I'm hero. Is that your Isn't birth that name as well? <laughs> It, oh. it, he it just just go along with it. Don't question it. <laughs> <laughs> he will probably you tell always... you a very long and boring story on how he got it, and you will just. I am. Um, <laughs> am I uh, saying that right? Uh, joyous. <laughs> no, joyous. Joy, joy, joy. Sorry, it's the off card. I'm. Coleman, uh, what a Davian accent is difficult for me. <laughs> yeah, joy. You do kind of talk funny. Uh, so I... Joy. You. Joy. Yes. Anyway, you guys need to head over here. 
sorry, where? The yellow oh, circle. Over here. This building here? Yep. Okay. Uh, do it. It's a city watch. They have uh, they have a watch in every at every gate entrance. Oh. Fabulous. Uh, the priest tells you that that's the uh, probably the closest place and the more lo uh, most logical place to take the corpses. It's the closest one. So you're met by uh, a group of four guards. I ask you, what are you doing here? Hello. Hi, officers. We're just here to speak to a dead body. Would you like kindness? Let us let us pass, please. And we're being followed by a cleric right now. No, so the cleric is with you. He is walking in yeah, the yeah, cool. with you. So yes, which in trance. And the cleric, please let these people pass. We are on a mission to find out who did this most tragic event thing happen in the Trolls Call Alley. You heard of the explosion? And the guard said, yes, we did. But we are here to inv uh, talk to the dead and see if they know anything before they passed. Passed away in this horrible, horrible fire. And the guard just, um, sure thing, you can pass. <laughs> that was easy. Well, they don't require any payments. So. <laughs> They're just doing their duty. They have to ask questions when you're close to the gate. So we're going because through this, here, this gate or? is closed. So okay, are we going through there? No, it's here. Yeah, in the same building. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we can move this as well. I thought it was just the DM. It's great. No, no you <laughs> have control of it. It's the party. It's the party uh -huh. token. Nice. So you enter the building, you walk down the stairs. Uh, one of the guards actually leads you to the door where you can enter, and then he gives you a tour because it's dark and it's cold down there. It's uh, cold? Yeah, to maintain the body. It's the bodies. It feels like home. Oh, mm. no, it's cold outside because it's yeah. winter. What am I talking about? <laughs> So you can see all the bodies lying up on uh, benches, several benches. They had to pull in temporal benches uh, uh, because they didn't expect too many, uh, so many bodies. Huh. You can see. Uh, uh, you can also see the the gnome, the uh, that were. You you got. The information from Barnabas that this gnome was probably was the target. You also have the halfling, halfling children, and uh, some of the other. Okay. Uh, followers of. Uh, of the of the mm, gnome. So, cleric man, do your thing. The cleric just uh, before he start casting and preparing to cast a spell, he asks, "Which one do you want to talk to first? To the to the filthy um, gnome, a disgusting creature right there. Would you not eat him? But you do us? No. Why would I eat that? That's disgusting. He's roasted. <laughs> Gnomes are the worst of you peoples." Uh, well, that's th racism. That's, evil, man. That, that, that's pure racism. <laughs> well, I don't he like gnomes. Kobolds and gnomes do not get along. Okay. I always wondered that is the difference between a gnome and a halfling. Well, a halfling is a gnome. Really see the, and a gnome I don't see is in a halfling. I don't that's see the good. difference. Well, but I mean, is there a difference in in look in in how they how they look? How do I tell? Well, well, I mean, most of the time gnomes are are stupid, and they're about you know the size of us, it's kobolds. Halflings are a little bigger. Mm. They're about like a, they're a foot size bigger, maybe. 
But no. Oh. So the priest uh, tells you, can you, can you guys stop biggering and uh, we're, we're, we're on the clock here. Can you please tell me which which one of the bodies the you gnome. want to spark the gnome? Okay. The gnome. So there. he just uh, he just uh, warms up his hands and just uh, draw. Uh, he goes. Uh, he takes his hands and just pry them over the body and just speak some language you don't know. You never heard before, and you can see gray or misty, uh, some gray misty light coming from the hands and goes into the body, like, uh, and you uh, you can see that the soul of the body just comes forth from nowhere and just goes into the body and the gnomes just open up his eyes and turn his head towards you Spe oh, and says you have summoned me back from the dead why Do what is it you want to know it's a good question. Um, Were we told how the spell works? If not, how did you I'm die? Not, I'm not waste it. Uh, I died in an explosion. Duh. See my burnt corpse? Told you. Told Do you, you know he's a piece of shit. Wet and shut up. Do you know where the. How, what caused the explosion? No. Uh. Don't know. I do know I was coming to uh, to a tavern to meet with a group of uh, adventurers. Hey, that's us. Huh. What what were you coming to meet us with us about? Uh, I was tasked with giving you an artifact I stole called Stone of Galore. Uh, oh? Yes, uh, it's from the lair of a beholder. Hmm. Uh, the stone look. He des describes the stone, and you get. Uh, it looks kind of like this. After he explains how it looks like. A beholder? Uh, is that not your pet? Uh, you don't keep a it's beholder. It's fuzzy thing. You don't keep a beholder as pets. They keep you as pets. I think so it is dangerous. Question. That's a fifth question. Oh, wait. No, no. <laughs> that, I was talking to you, not to the dead body. No. <laughs> I was talking to the... To joyous and stuff. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> The whole thing about Beholder was a question directed to Joyous and Hero, not to not to the dead body. <laughs> the dead body started answering. I was like, "No, stop!" <laughs> I didn't mean. That's please. The, are you counting that as a question? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Wait, what? No, oh, I meant to the DM. That that was out of character. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. How many questions do we have left? You, know, you uh, never know. I think it's two. If the uh, priest told us, if the priest didn't tell us, we have no idea how this spell works. The spell you know, works that uh, either the soul or if it, the spirit doesn't come, we can't recall so a spirit. Nope. We can to recall five questions. The... And uh, no, it's not five. But that's <clears throat> another spell. Until the spell ends, you can a speak with dead. Until the spell ends, you can ask the corpse five questions. Uh, the corpse, yeah, the corpse only knows what it knew in um. And that's up in life. Yeah. In you, yeah, I will say that you asked it two questions. Hey. Just uh, so. Okay. You don't screw up. Or uh, <laughs> if you screw up, then you're screwed. <laughs> so I, I look uh -huh. at Joyous. Uh -huh. Alright, okay. Joyous. What are we going to ask next? 
Do we, we who I sent him bringing that thing stone. to us? Yeah, I like yeah, that one. Yeah, do we ask who has the stone now? Is that maybe well, he wouldn't know that. Because someone okay. probably killed him and took it. We can okay. ask who, who would want to kill him for the stone. Well, if we can figure out who sent him, we can go oh, we back could to also that. find. That's true. We could find out why they stole it and they were giving it to us, of all people. This is true. I understand. Okay. I understand so that I'm a hero, question. my and I'm known <laughs> all over the city. Uh huh. Here. Um, two good questions. One, who sent him? Two. Uh, what was the second one? What was the one you just said? <laughs> <laughs> why give it to us? Why give? Yeah. Why give it to us? Um. And the last one. Why well, surely, surely the no. person who sent him the thing wanted to give it to us. But why? Why us? That's just, that's true. We can ask that, actually. <laughs> was it us yeah, or was so... it the people before us? Because we're new. Let's assume it's us. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to look at the corpse now and I'll be like, Yo, who, <laughs> who sent you with this stone to give it to us? Um, he says that the, the name of the the person who gave his uh, gave him this mission is his name is Never Ember. Okay, Rain Rainer Never Ember. Actually, do we know who question. that is? Where is that person? That's a better oh. question. Our previous characters know who that is because we rescued yep. him. Oh, he, he probably forgot. assumes we're alive. The fool. <laughs> yeah. The person is. We... So can ask person. Do we know the last name? Never remember. Rainer Never remember. I, I wouldn't know. Brian wouldn't know. I'm sure. Uh, uh, his but... name is Rainer yeah. Never remember. He says he is the son of the uh, one of the open lords of the city. Oh. Is that okay. the cleric telling that, us that, or the, the, the dead body? The dead body. Oh, okay. <laughs> we didn't ask him who it was, though. He gave that information freely. Mm, that's yeah. cool. That's, he, re that's really uh, cool. He he just slips up. He just slipped up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense for him to answer it like that with the previous, the first question, the question we asked. Yeah. So we asked him who sent you. I was going to chalk it up to him being a gnome and not known better, but whatever. <laughs> He anyway. he uh, he actually uh, he. What well, he uh, tries to uh, says uh, in short, that he worked for Dagold Neverember, the Lord. The Open okay. Lord of What Deep. Um. Why did he want to give it to us? That's the next question. Uh, that's question number four, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, yeah. Keep it safe. Okay. Um, I guess where another is... question we could ask. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 wait, 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 ask. I was going to say, why did he take it, though? What's his pur What's the item's purpose? Well, we can ask him that if we can find him. Is that true? The problem is we don't know where he is currently. Yeah, but he's, he said he stole it from a beholder? Yeah, well, so we can, we can ask him why. Why he stole it from the beholder? Mm -hmm. All right. We just need to know where he is to be able to ask more <clears throat> questions. When I talked to Persevan for a few moments, he told me he got the bar from a, a Volo, and that they got the bar because they helped out Volo and rescued a uh, Rainer. So maybe Volo would know if he's still in town. Mm. You can always ask the corpse of where this guy is. True. Uh, what? Uh, which one are you preferring to? The never, nev, uh... Oh god, what's his name? Rainer Rain? Never Ember. Yes. You want to know never. where he is? Yeah, where was he? Where is he? Oh, he might not know. But you spoke. You is... already spoken it. You already asked the question. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> so <laughs> he just said I don't know ah, bastard and the spirit just the course just returns to his stupid no money punches foot 
Yeah, get him. Shut up, here. Let's go. <laughs> well, we can talk to the the halflings, I suppose. Maybe they know something. Mm, this is true. Does it cost? An, does it? Is it going to cost us another twenty-five gold? No, but uh, you can ask the priest. Uh, uh, the priest, uh, do you want me to? Do you want to talk to some of the other dead bodies here? Or the only yeah. dead bodies of, of note were the halflings, right? There were, it was the gnome, no, the, the halfling. No, the, the halfling were children's, uh, but there are there were uh, two centaurum salzor that were fo uh, were following. Uh, uh, Davakar, the, the gnome. I'm not hmm. going to write his name down. Hmm. Doesn't deserve to know. Yeah, we could ask the Centaurum why they were chasing the gnome. We could, you, yes. can actually, you can actually see some traces of the, that they belong to uh, Centaurum. Okay. On their bones. Um, so the Centaurum sell swords, one of those we would like to be, speak to. What is Centaurum? I don't really know. It's hard to explain. The priest said, oh, uh, Centaurums, you don't want to get involved with them. They are a nasty guild. Are they a group of villains? <laughs> mm. Not really. Their beliefs are just a little, um, odd. Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> if you'll say so. I mean, a lot of things you guys do is odd, but <laughs> we can let's find out what they know. <laughs> uh, let's see what I can tell you about Centaurum. Well, what? The priest says that uh, Centaurum, they are, uh, they are a band of, they are a guild of evil people. They mean, they are nothing good at all. They're, they're all guild of bad. Evil, huh? They are mm. straight through evil. Might need a pen to visit. Well, yes, I... That is enough for me to know. <laughs> hmm. We can mess their shit up. <laughs> so, which one shall we talk to? Any um... points? Uh, there, there seems to be two bodies here. Do either of them look more higher up in Zentarum, or are they both just cell swords? They just look like cell swords. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. That one. Well, let's flip, let's flip a coin. The left body for heads. Okay. The right body for tails. Okay, so one is let's... heads, two is tails. Uh, okay, so uh, roll me a d2. Two tails. The right body. Hopefully my lady luck shines on us. Let's see. <laughs> lady luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. Okay, we take the two. Uh, and he do the same thing, and he cast a spell and speak the words, and the spirit. Returns to the body. Okay. So does anyone have any questions for this person? Okay. Uh, who hired him to chase the gnome? Uh, the owner of... He, sp he says that they worked for Urstol Floxen. Do we recognize Do we know who that is? 
No, you do not. Why were they following the gnome? Uh, some of you might know the token from it. Uh, the big, do you know the big token I showed you? Uh, the giant. Yep. Well, not the, not an actual giant, but the big guy. Yeah, this one. Mm, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, I see it now. It's further down. Oh, it's gone now. Yep, it's gone. That's uh. There's no handout for it. Okay. Um. Why were you following the gnome? For the stone. What's so special about this stone? It's a key. Okay. I, does anyone have any more questions I want to ask him? Because I have another question, but... Yeah, I think the obvious question that I would like to know is a key to what? That's a good question. That's what I was going to ask. Hey, see? That's why we hang out. <laughs> so, you want to ask what kind of key it was? It is. What is the key? But Who is it go to? There might be... Wait, before we ask, we have... there might be other options. We got to make sure we... I have all the questions, right? That's what heroes do. They get all the information. <laughs> they know he was hired by somebody we don't know. Do little hero, man. Yeah, we can find out who that person that hired him is. Can can the priest do another one of these? Mm. I would say this one is more than that. You only ask three questions. If I... I so... uh, yeah, we've asked four. Okay, I think yeah, I, I don't think uh, who hired I asked you? three. I only asked three questions. But okay, if you say four. Well, who well, who hired you? We asked that, and then yeah. um, you asked about uh, why were you following the gnome? The stone. Uh, what the is stone. what does the stone do? And then the key. The key. What? Yeah, which then we asked what the key goes to. Uh, okay. Just, uh, I didn't. Ask ask okay, that's the question I didn't ask. Uh, okay. Vault. Vault. God. What? Or should we ask him what vault? Uh, I mean, outside of the game, have we heard the rumors about the uh, no, nope. the dragon coins? No. Nope. All right. Then, then ugh. well, <laughs> we could ask. We could ask about the vault, or we could ask about the person who hired him. Mm. I am curious about a vault because I heard you know vaults contain a lot of uh shiny stuff and. Shiny is that something you care about, right. hero? Yeah, well, back in our tribe, we used to go out, collect the, the shiny, and give it to our uh, our leader. Is that what the what? hero cares about? Well, this, this hero I does. Hero. <laughs> <laughs> before I was a hero. Yeah. Uh, the priest says, you have to hurry. <laughs> I, can, I don't think I can maintain this, this much longer. I don't know about the vault. What vault? Vault of Dragons. Dragons? Oh no. Wait, wait. Dragons, that's. Is... Hey, dragons. Dragons as in uh, dragons, dragons, or dragons as in what my ex wife would call gold? Well, the, you already asked the question and he answered. And now and he's okay. gone. Well, dragons. I'm scared then because it could be a real dragon or it could just be what these water deviants. Called money, it's they're crazy. Like, someone says to me, like, Oh, you can get some dragons, and then I get scared, you know. <laughs> Instead, of... no. you, no, Why would you, you don't get know, a dragon. But, uh, the pre, uh, priest says, If this is all you need me for, I need to get back to my temple. And, and Do you I know wish you, I wish you luck with this information. Okay, fine then, priest. <laughs> Fine. If you don't need, if you don't need me with anything else, well, I want to know. Like, do you know anything this about shit. this? Uh, <clears throat> he does it. Dragons could probably be 
a lot of dragon with real dragons or something else. I'm, I'm a okay. Let's here. think about this because if it was a vault of dragons, then that would be like how many dragons that have to be really young or just one really big dragon? Like how many dragons can vault I'm not sure. really I'm, keep? I'm, I'm, we don't know. <laughs> there could be dead dragons. That are, we're not sure. You can't be a bad dragon. Uh, you can't kill dragons. They're too strong. I've never killed crazy. a dragon. I've never seen a dragon. I have. That was the old boss. Oh! Yeah, before. Oh, yes. Left. I don't know where he went. You are a little dragon, aren't you? No, not a dragon. You're, a You're dragon. more of a reptile like, like... thing, uh, aren't you? He's more like a um, like a lizard folk. I mean, they're descended yeah. of dragons. Yeah, but they, yeah. they, they uh, like the, uh, kobolds. They are more like uh, reptiles, right? Mm. Reptiles and a mixture of maybe the reptiles <laughs> and lizard folks. Yeah, if it's a dragon I mean, and it's trapped in a vault, we gotta save him. Aren't out of character? Aren't kobolds like draconic and lizard folk are monstrosities or something? No, beast. So. Mm. Lizard, lizard folks are humanoids. Humanoids, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, out of uh, out of character and uh, out of. Uh, uh, you are. Uh, this is not uh, not something you. Uh, if you are, haven't met them yeah. before, um, you're not really sure. But this yeah. is. Uh, of, so course, of course, of course, that. Yeah. That was out of character. That was not yeah. in character. Yeah. Okay, so. You Overhead gain the information <laughs> of uh, you, ga you gain some information. You gain information about some kind of stone, key, vault, and name of a person. What was the name of the person again? Erstel Floxin. Erstel. Erstel. That is a funny oh. name, Floxin. Well, yeah. to be fair, most of your names is funny to me. That's true. Your is Hero your Hero. birth name? Is... Yeah. Did you give yourself that name or did you were you born with it? Aristotle Floxin. I got that name. <laughs> from, from being a hero. Uh -huh. so what was your name before? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. You put your past in the past. Yeah. You can do a persuasion check to see if you can persuade him to tell us. <laughs> 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 Come on. Only if name. you're up. <laughs> only if you're up with to it, hero. Like, only if you're willing. Well, you might. You, aren't you like curious? Oh, no roll. I'm. I'm <laughs> afraid, so. Oh yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. You, you never mind. Back, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Uh, okay. So that's part. You've done one part of the information now. You. Have received. So, here's the flocking. Well, I guess we can go to the temple and uh, see about those puppets. Yeah, the temple yeah. of. Uh... Yeah, but, but... Another temple. House of the Moon, is that it? No. Uh, uh, it was. If we needed to go to a temple anyway, why didn't we go to the puppets first and get a, a cleric from that temple and then <coughs> go here? Well. Because Julius didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I'm walking around and making friends. It's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Local temple uh, Gond. That's uh, where you want Gond? to go. Yes. The t uh, local it's... temple of Gond. Wait, do I know who Gond is? Uh, Gon is a god that's very famous in Eighth um, City, where she grew up. A uh, city that vanished. Ah, oh, Eighth is from uh, what's this called? La something, 
Lantern? Yeah, that's the one. Cool. Um, Brian doesn't know any of this. Let me just check it. Does. Nope. Uh, well, you can ask Good. her. Legit. 20! Oh, yeah, okay. I could have asked her. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> she hasn't written any backstory yet so far. That's cool. So, um, no let's go to this Gond temple. Yeah. Da, da, da. Let's see if there is. Wait, what race is the. Uh, uh... What race is. What? Uh, uh, eighth? Yeah. Eighth is. What race? Eighth is a human. Oh, okay. And joyous? Do I know what you are? Um, You're wearing a mask, aren't you? I am wearing a mask. I appear to be human, though. Cool. I'm a kobold. Can I see your mouth? <laughs> you can see. Joyous? Joyous, mm -hmm. is, is, your, is your mask like... Just the top half of your face, or, or is it yeah, the full Yeah, I can send a face? picture in the Discord for you. Oh, cool. Or I'm actually already in there, but um. Yeah, you can just share a picture there on Discord. That's cool. That is fine. Uh, ba boom. Scrolling up. Uh. Here you go. Ah. Uh. There's another one in there. Yeah, so the, does that mean the bottom half of the mouth is seen? Uh, it's just dark in the photo, but seen. it's um, okay. It's a face. It would be just like a normal human skin tone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's very ambiguous, but yes, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I just have to find the correct streets. Uh, um, I'm looking for Sea Watch Street and Shark Street. Shark Street in the Sea Watch. Hang on, if I like... found it. I found Where? it. Where? Um, I, there's this interactive map that that has all of these things. Hang on, how do I scroll on this? There you go. Here it is. Ah, there it is. I can link you that interactive map if you want. Yeah, it's really cool. uh, here is so the temple is right there. Hmm. That's where the temple of Gond is. Yes, the local temple nice. of Gond. Oh man, it would have been a lot easier to go to the Sea Ward first, go to that temple. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Where was it? So yeah, uh, right it here. is. Uh, no. It's not, oh, yeah. Well, I'll yeah, it's right here. Oh, um, yeah. On the other side. Wait. Wait, oh, right, no, here, okay. Here it is. There it is. Nice. So, the house of inspired hands looked like a cross between a temple and a workshop. The symbol of God, a tooth cog with four sp spokes, is displayed prominently. You see the silhouettes of a humanoid shape perching on the rooftop. It extends an arm releasing a tiny metal sparrow into the sky. The bird does a few loops in the air then whizzes right toward you. Is that magic? What do you guys do? Hmm. Leads away. I don't really know what these puppets are for. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. You see, so, so there, there's like a small bird that does a few loops of vroom, 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 and it's right towards you. 
So, uh, Hero and Joyous, why are we looking at puppets again? Um, to be honest, I don't actually remember why we... Well, I don't uh, because <laughs> you got the information from one of the witnesses, yeah, they told you that there was like some oh, kind fine. of doll that yeah. cast... That uh, cast that, the fireball? That, yeah, that made the explosion. And you, oh, also, you, so... you got a picture of it as well. Okay, uh, so we are here to ask people um, if they know about dolls that can cast fireballs. Yep. Okay, then go ahead. Yeah. Should I? Like, I know I'm new to all this, but I can try and enter. Yeah, we could do the old uh, routine that we did uh Yesterday, good cop, bad cop, hero cop. Oh god! Well, 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 guys, what I want you to do is, I want you to, guys to roll initiative. Hey, we don't need a battle map for this one. Oh, initiative. Yes. Okay. There's no token. Yeah. I just uh, roll initiative like that, so I will. Oof! Oh no! Okay, Seventeen. <laughs> oh, I got twenty-three. Wow. Too bad Andy got six. <laughs> uh, let's see. I will add. Let's see if I can add. There you go. Uh, initiative. Thirteen for Bram. Actually, you can uh, do this again. Uh, you can just uh, roll out your characters and character tokens on the map. It doesn't matter okay. where. Oh god, that's huge! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's huge. Just for reference. Enormous. Just there you go. And okay, I'll, so I'll I will roll it again. So roll again. Let's see, that better get worse. Seven this time, great. Seven. Sucks. Seventeen. I never get that high. I mean, it might not suck. Maybe it's good, but I go. It's good. Like mm, fourth. Usually, I want to go last, just because then I can. Heal you if you need it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure why she has plus five. She had she should have plus six. But I don't care. At least she oh. has that. Yeah, she has a dex four and proficient. She's proficient in initiative. I uh, know. Yeah. Well, maybe. She has some skills that gives her plus one, so yeah. Okay, so descending order. Uh, what Ace is gonna do? She's gonna use her rapier to slash at the bird that comes towards you. Wait, the uh, bird was attacking us? Uh, it was flying straight forward, that's why I wanted you to roll initiative. Oh! Why are you attacking the bird? She misses terribly. <laughs> that's about right. That's about right. She missed hard. That's really bad. That's, uh, uh, that's really terrible. I'm, okay, I'm not going to tell her. I right, roll another one. <laughs> no, but it's on brand for her. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of used to it. Uh, anyway, next person, me. Oh my god. Okay, so my character, I'm gonna do. We're we trying to kill this thing. Is that what we're trying to do? You I don't to... know. It's just just a bird that's just coming towards us. I it's don't a, know why it's she was attacking it. It's a mechanical bird. Maybe it would have stopped. Don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna cast guided bolt on it. 
guide. What? Wow. Okay. Guide. What yeah. if it's a friendly bird? Why do? I why are we know. assuming it's a bad bird? I don't know. Should okay. I? Yeah, you kill it. <laughs> uh, do you get? Uh, uh, it's. <laughs> yeah. What you, you do you to this bird? Hit it Damn and. Uh... <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm You're the too. kind of person to attack uh, some nice. Uh, feats of engineering. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, you destroy it before, and when it you just reacts on it, bam! You just or you just cast a bolt, and not, you're Can not I... hitting. Oh, are we still in turn order? Uh, no, because you Can I cast you, you, dying on it? You, you, it's just a doll. <laughs> no, you cannot cast spare that. Come dying. on, it's just a, you just destroy a doll. <laughs> So. Just a living creature. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you see that the creature casted the um, bird disappeared. The bird disappeared? No, the person that stood on the rooftop. Oh, I thought that was like a statue. I'm sorry. No. I completely misunderstood. No, <laughs> I thought it was, was like the a decoration statue. of this. No. <laughs> and spare the so... dying doesn't work on mechanical. Okay, sorry. Um, it's a construct. Oh, so yeah, this bird does not has no effect on a dead or construct, and this bird was a construct, so mm -hmm. no, I, no. I just, someone uh, I just... used this bird to try and kill us. I had no idea. I thought it was just a pretty bird. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, the gate, uh, the door to the temple is open, and you can well, see acti actively during. Uh, this uh, late afternoon. We should go in then. I mean, I don't know. Should we go in? Something just tried to kill us. We should probably go in. I'm only sure. going right. in. You're not sure if it tried Lex to kill, a, a kill you or attack you at random? I'm not afraid. I'm just. The, the, I'm just hey, don't worry. confused. <laughs> the hero will lead the way. So I, when you get inside no, the main no, hall. Walk in. So when you get inside the main hall, you see a uh, four foot tall. Uh, you see the the temp the main hall. Of the temple holds two dozen marble pedestals, and uh, each one bears a prize winning invention or a miniature model of some other extraordinary creation. <laughs> Among this this place are several that stands out. Wow. Uh, there's like uh, one of them is there's a four f is a four foot tall working model of a clock tower. Uh, it's made of it's made of both wood, iron, bronze, and glass. It also has brass bells and a delicate hands formed from solid gold. You can also see a. a a wooden flying machine that has wings that flat uh, flat when it becomes airborne. It also, there's also a miniature model of a mechanical dragon turtle that has, has a brass plate uh, fix, uh, affixed to its pedestal that reads Big Chelsea sank in deep water harbor on the Day of Wonders in 1383 DR. You can also see a functional walking helmet equipped with small articulated metal arms and hands that gently slap the wearer if he or she falls asleep. <laughs> and also a miniature model of a red submarine shaped like a manta ray has a brass plate affixed to its pedestal that reads the Scarlet uh, Marpanoth Lantanese Submersible. Launched in 1489 DR. It's like a very big hole with all sorts of inventions. Uh, in inventions. Mm. When you're like yes. going inside a little deeper, yeah, when you go inside in the main hall, you're met by a person named Valletta. He, uh, 
who is a, a dragon a dragonborn priest. Hmm. Hello. So he speaks first in uh, dragon uh, language. I respond in dragon. Draconic. Draconic. I say dragon. <laughs> and uh, uh, in the in the translation it says hello hello may I ask uh, what your business here is <clears throat> I translate for my non-dragon speakers do you not speak common you can just say that you didn't. Uh, well, what do you say? Uh, and just oh, sorry. I'm so used to I'm, speaking I... draconic in my may in my dragon dragon. Well, I, I I understand. Like if you see someone who looks like you would want to speak your language, with, I I I would love to be able to speak my native language mm. right uh, now, but. I, uh, I do Hello. apologize. Uh, it, was, it was rude okay. to speak in dragon. I, I... <laughs> it's okay. No, don't apologize. Like languages should be celebrated. <laughs> I wish I could learn your language. So, uh, what can I do for you? Oh, we here talking about death, death puppets. Well, just outside, someone tried to kill us with this mechanical bird. Um, uh, did, did anyone take the bird, actually? Oh, <laughs> oh no. I didn't pick I, up no, the bird. Now I understand. <laughs> oh, that was... Uh, that was Nim. Uh, he, he, it's uh, Nimble, right? Uh, it was given... Uh, it... it uh, that was gifted to, the temp uh, to this temple by... Uh, by a wizard. Hmm. A uh, 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 yeah, uh, it was a gift from a wizard, and I do apologize for his behavior. Sorry for so killing just bird. <laughs> <laughs> So the bird was given to him to this name by a wizard. Mm, well, if you come with me, I will lead you up to his uh, to Nim's chamber. And uh, we can talk oh, through yes. to him. Uh, I will very much like I will to make, look at uh, you right in my can, face. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mean to attack you, but... Hmm. Oh, well, see, if he wasn't meaning to attack us, then I was right to not like want to attack the bird. I'm, sh I'm sure it was uh, some kind of mechanical error that made him... Attack. Maybe he... he did, Maybe he thought you were uh, someone that might do us harm. I'm not sure. So, who is this Nim? Who uh, is he? His name is Nimble Wright, and she describes him as. Uh, uh, she describes him as this. Oh, he's not even human. No, he's a doll. And uh, like I said, he was he was a doll. That was uh, give he was a gift from a wizard. Hmm. So hmm. we are looking for a doll. The, the, the person that you were talking to before. Um, I'm talking to Joyce in here right here. Mm -hmm. Did they say this doll was doll sized or a uh, person doll? I I. Uh. Don't I believe, believe it was. Uh, it, I think I gave you the handout uh, of this description of the doll that casted the fireball, but it was I will. Oh, I, Nim's I, secret. Yeah, uh, but I will give it to you again, just to. Oh yeah, this is exactly. It. Yeah. So. So we're looking for a puppet. I I assumed that it was you know like a puppet for children. So mm, this is the person I... who cast the fireball. We found them. 
Uh, should we get him? So, we should be careful. We should arrest this puppet. Uh, well, no. uh, let us, uh, wants, uh, wants to lead you up to, uh, Liz, you only, she wants to lead you up to a, sp uh, up a spiral staircase. Uh, she, uh, she says that, uh, Nim's, uh, quarters is up on the attic, so he has access to the roofs. But, but I will take you to him, okay. so you can talk to, uh, see if you can communicate with him. Okay, well, I keep my hand on my, uh, war hammer. <laughs> uh, I keep my hand on my whip. Well, when she, when you get up there, she, both, uh, she, she is surprised that she found that uh, the door is locked and the, the, she doesn't recognize this lock at all. She, oh my, this is strange. Uh, I bang on the door. This is the, the door is locked, and I d d someone has just someone has uh, put a new lock on the door. I bang on it, therefore, and I shout, "Nim, are you in there?" Well, uh, you hear nothing. I get my whip ready. I think I should bang the break the door. I'm gonna get my great axe, therefore. And try and attack the door. So uh, Valletta just stops you right there. Unless oh, no, some, no. Val Valletta, no, no, you do not destroy anything inside this door. I forbid you. Okay, but we have to open this. You know, he's dangerous. Well, he probably uh, we did the fireball. Well, we, we can try to talk to him. Uh, maybe. But he's not opening the door. Can you unlock it? I, I don't have a key. I like I said, this is, a, this is a new... Listen, I will fix the door for you, okay? No, I like I said, I don't... I'm good with wood. I am proficient in wood carver's tools. Hmm. Uh, Ace, I can make uh, Ace says... Hmm. Excuse me, gentlemen, uh, but <laughs> I might... I could try to pick the lock. If that's okay with you. Go, go quickly, quickly. Maybe he's not in there. Maybe he's run away. Uh, so Ace is gonna try and uh, pick the lock. Can I assist? By like kind of. No. If you're, are you proficient in thieves tools? No. No. So you cannot. <laughs> she tries to pick the lock, but nothing. They, 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 they don't seem to work at all. Can I can I try and roll persuasion on the, the dragonborn to let me just like break the door down? It with saying that I will fix it personally. Uh, roll <laughs> a persuasion check to see if uh, Nim is willing so. to open the door from the inside. Oh, Nim is willing to open the door. Yeah. Oh, I was more talking to the dragonborn. Uh, well, Valletta <laughs> says that no. If you no, okay, destroy so... this door, I will throw you down the stairs. <laughs> okay, five. <laughs> so Nim's not opening that door. No, you just you just hear some squeaking sounds inside. Okay. Okay. Why so don't you want to face. open the door and try and break the push the door handle in so it snaps? Uh, are you trying to break the door? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll pay for the door. Um, she grabs you in the neck. Uh, 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 she she grabs your cloak whoa, 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 whoa. behind your neck and just throws you backwards. I want you to make a dexterity saving throw <laughs> for me. Oh, she can. What did you expect? <laughs> okay, you. Fall about uh, fifteen feet down the spiral stairs. Oof! I want you to roll me three d six for me. <laughs> you take eleven bludgeoning damage from the fall. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I thought and it was she, she, she said, <laughs> I told you what will happen if you do not listen to me. We must try to talk I'm to him sorry. to open the, lo uh, the door. Man, I apologize for you. I guess I... I, I okay, I knock on the door again. Nim, we're not going to hurt you unless you come out and explain yourself for the things that you've done. You won't be in trouble if you cooperate. Okay. Try and roll a persuasion check again, but with advantage this time. Cool. Nat 20. Yep. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you hear a click. Someone is at, um, or trying to open a lock with a key. That, and you hear a click, click, click. It's like, okay. And the doors open up, and you when the door is open, you see like five locks from the inside plus the lock on the door. <laughs> well, I see that breaking down the door wouldn't have worked anyway. <laughs> uh, so I get it. Joyous was the bad cop, and Brian was the good cop, and I was the <laughs> hero. You have definitely did a lot of hero here. I just lost yeah. my accent there. Oops. Definitely. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up to uh, to Joyce, and I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds. And she looks kind of up. Oh, That's nice. Okay, so the go. door is unlocked. Has it been opened? Thank yeah, you. the door is open. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um. So we see Nim standing there. Yeah, Nim is opening the door. Uh, he invites you in, but he doesn't say anything. Okay. Uh, but uh, okay. but that tells you. Uh, Stupid me. He can't talk. I have to talk for him. Me and the other members of this temple, we can understand uh, his sign language. We can tra we could translate we translate his sign language. Okay, brilliant. Um, let's go. Cool. Okay. Um, Joyous hero, you're coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Come on, get back up these, these stairs. You weren't just thrown 15 <laughs> stairs. <laughs> no, because I listened. <laughs> you were healed uh -huh. with four, wow. four hit points. Wow, that's one worthless kill wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Whatever. Sorry, but that was just. I might kill this priest. Is that bad? <laughs> yeah, but only if you want to go to jail for it. For uh, six months or so. Mm. And pay a fine I'm... for about 500 gold Whatever. pieces. Moving or on. More. I'm going to use healing hands on myself. Okay. And get three wow. hit points back. Fabulous. Okay, well, um, Nim, Nim, do you have a full name? Nimble writes, right? He does writes, some, uh, he, right? he, he does yes. some sign language as, uh, and what it says, Nimble right. His name Nimble is right. Nimble right. Okay, but if you prefer Nim, that's okay. I don't know, do you have likes, do you yeah. like things, do you dislike things? He, he, pre uh, he, he prefers, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it'd be called Nim. Mo uh, everyone in the temple says to him. Perfect. Okay. Um. So, for, I mean, you guys experienced the fireball, so you should probably answer, the, uh, ask the questions. Questions. I'm just a muscle. <laughs> um, and. Uh, he does more sign uh, and what is it, uh, what kind of question well i got a question and that question is did you go outside of troll school manor and kill a gnome and a bunch of people yes he, 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 says, 
he just <laughs> do some more sign language and says, eh, but that's it. No. That was not him. Well. That was the other Nimble, right? What? The other? Were you the, the one? Nim, uh, uh, Nim does some sign language through a gesture into Valletta that uh, it had built a another puppet because he was alone. Uh, he was so lonely. Was uh, the other uh, puppet uh, the one? He He's not sure, but uh, to ease it, uh, Nimble right and Valletta says that to ease after uh, translating all the sign languages is that Nimble right built another puppet to ease its loan because he was all alone. He had no one else but himself. He kept always kept himself here in this chamber. And he felt that to ease its loneliness, he built another Nimble right that he didn't look like him, but uh, it looks like uh, the name you saw on the handout uh, about the mm. with the umbrella. So what does this name look like? Uh, I gave you that one as well. Oh, it were two different ones. Yeah, this oh. is. Uh, this was the nimble right that was on top on top of the rooftop. Yes. Yes. And. Uh, and. And uh, this one was the nimble right that was described as the one that casted the fireball. Oh, I thought this is an item. No, it's a puppet. Oh. So, is that like, how big is that then? That's... You don't know. Okay, so the one on the rooftop is the one that is the one we're talking to right now. Uh -huh. It is. Okay. So, why did you send a bird at us? Uh, he thought that you meant uh, the people in the temple harm. So he just... Why? <laughs> I think. Excuse what you did we do? Mesa, my shoulder. <laughs> we we have oh, never no. met. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't know that, and also he felt sorry. He, he felt ashamed uh, for it. So he ran into this yeah. chamber and hide in shame because he did something he wasn't supposed to do. Yeah. Okay. I, get it. I mean, look at Joyce. He's well, a vicious looking fella. You failed. Excuse uh, me. So. What he says. Uh, what you. he. What, but what he was trying to explain to you about the, the other name right, that he created was that. That it fled uh, a month ago. Uh, uh, fled? Uh, yeah. He, he doesn't know why, but... Uh, it, it, the only thing you can uh, say that it, it was confused and s maybe spooked. And this name who hasn't... Seen the other name right since that time. Why do you have a different lock on your door? Mm. He has no answer to that. But so it's uh, uh, in this, uh, in, with this information, Valletta just screams out in uh, down the stairs, calls out other acolytes. Uh, come up here and remove all the tools and all the inventions that's not even not finished ah Valetta you didn't know this uh Valetta no we didn't know this and that's mm. uh, okay. that's very bad it feels like hey. we are responsible for what happened we know oh, about the explosion, but... so we, uh, now I feel bad that it might, uh, we might be responsible for it. You know how you mm. can start paying, paying people back is you could heal my friend for throwing him down the stairs. 
Well, That's I did one. warn. No. Uh, no, I did warn him. I did warn him several times, and you did not listen. We do not no, tolerate no. violence in this temple. Oh, okay. Being but it's helpful. okay for oh, yeah. it's okay for your adventures to go out and kill a bunch of people. Well, well we did not know. We did not know this. We did not well, know this, and yeah, I warned you, and this was the warning. <laughs> so you stop violence. You're, don't you're don't glad <laughs> I didn't throw you out, out of the temple. You're you lying. Right you need to okay. heal my friend. No, no I don't. Heal I'm him. not. I'm not a doctor or a healer. Well, they were good. Well, uh, I'm just. Okay, I'm, like a, I'm an acolyte. Your friend here. Your your friend made a made another robot. That we did not know about. And it, and it killed a lot of people and a gnome. Well, I'm, so, I'm so sorry for you, gnome, but that no. we did not know it. And now you do. So heal my friend. It's only fair. We're trying to help people. You know you what? Here, it's, line. here, it's it's fine. And I'm gonna flick one of my Tia Morris coins to him. Have a good day. Look into uh, Tia Morris. She's much nicer. <laughs> you know, yes. Do you has do you have the power to locate object objects? In I might. What a, what a sound. <laughs> <laughs> because perhaps uh, this Nim here has something that can connect us to uh, the other Nim. I do have it. I would need time to rest and recover for okay. it to be able to. And, and also, with, also with the uh, stone, uh, perhaps, do you think you're familiar enough? Now that we've been told about this stone, but we could, might be able to hmm. to look for it. Maybe we need to learn, learn you can, more uh, about uh, well, it. Uh, first. Valetta tells uh, tells you that before we clean this out, you're 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 free to look through all this junk. All this. All, okay. Uh, um, if you uh, if this might help you in your Search for the justice of those yeah, mm. that terrible, terrible event. Yeah, um, we we are here I to guess... help. We we're not here to obstruct justice or anything. Perfect. I you guess. Um, yeah, I'd like to look for something that might help Joyous um, find something, or like be able to locate. Yeah, yeah. you can I'm roll not... a. I, you, you, would, you can roll an investigation people. check. Does anyone else want uh, to look as well? I'll look. Yeah, me, me and Amy will help. <laughs> uh, Ace, will also, Ace will also help you with the investigation. So what is so, I So, uh, uh, Brain, Joyous, and Ace. Uh, you look around. Uh, Uh, you can uh, do, and you can find, you can see, uh, you find a one foot long copper contraption with an umbrella like metallic protrusion at the end, uh, at one end. Uh, so, can you repeat that? So, the connection went a bit weird. What you find Sorry. is a one foot long copper contraption with an umbrella like metallic protrusion at one end. And for some reason, it actually uh, it it actually reminds you of it. It reminds you of what what? It's not even bigger than this. So this is the uh -huh. thing that the witness saw. And oh. this is the, so. This is something. So the nimble light. So this is the thing. Nim, uh, were uh, you lying? Nim uh, just tells in the hand side. Okay, uh, 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 well, th this is. Yeah, what? Uh, no, what Nim's trying to tell you is that this is some kind of detector that detects other nimble rights. 
and of course you're uh, we, we're not gonna <clears throat> you're free to take it of course and nimble right tells you to take it use it oh okay so we don't it, he to gives you to okay. she also tells you to to activate this you have to hold down the big handle and what the this name is telling you that the umbrella will spin and twirl and click. Oh. Okay, let me understand. Um, so someone at the crime scene saw this contraption, yep. didn't see see another nimble height. No, so the, no the, it, they saw the contraption. Saw, it saw this contraption. Yes. So somebody at the crime scene was trying to find another name, right? Uh, no, what, what, we're, we're not sure, but it looks like that, uh, looks like that's what happened. Uh, so Nimble it's Rice not... tried to do some several hand signs and well, let's just hold on, take it easy, Nim, take it easy, let me keep up. And uh, he says, uh, <laughs> what, what I am understand about this detector is that like I said he, you must hold down the, uh, its trigger and it, when the activated device comes within a certain amount of feet other than this name the, the umbrella begins to spin, whir and click and the spinning and the whir and the spin uh, clicking, it intensifies as, as you get closer and closer and closer. Okay. Okay. So it reacts to other why? number rights uh, uh, besides this one. And that that person at the crime scene, did they say that it was spinning? No, we don't know that. It was too far, but you do do know it was this kind of thing, and he tries to explain to us, 500 feet, 500 feet, 500 feet. Uh, well, it says, uh, oh, it says something about 500 feet, so it must be its range or something. So, if the other nimble height is the one that did the fireball, Mm. So, but are we assume? Can we assume? Because why would they have something to locate our nimble rights? Do you think maybe it's trying to stay away from this nimble right? And that's why it has this, to this stay, nimble right or? is not going anywhere. So you have to start from someone else, not another nimble right that did this thing and tried to blame it on us, but. I have, I have, I have a mission for you. If you are willing to take it, and I'm willing to pay you handsomely for it. Of course. A mission, you say? Yes. I would like you to track down this nimble right, and the, our house will pay you greatly if you find it, destroy it, and come back with evidence or proof that you you destroyed it okay. okay well we can't turn this thing on right now because it will locate obviously this nimble right right here so we must go 500 feet away and then do it again see what happens it's cheaper so. than using locate object so Exactly. Oh, of course. Oh, wait, no, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say that locate object is a thousand feet, but it brain is. wouldn't know that. that so, you know it's one thousand feet, so. I, I don't know that. <laughs> it also no, says that. If, you, well, that's a, if you're willing to do this, uh, we will give you not only money, you, we will give you uh, one of our it, uh, inventions as well. No, that's and uh, uh, what I'm uh, what I'm saying to you is, 
I, we are willing to pay you 500 gold pieces if you destroy this thing. Wow. Now, what, what? Now, is that... I like the sound of that. Is that 500 gold as a group or 500 gold? 500 gold, gold pieces person? total to destroy it. Give it's us okay, proof of it and we will... I will personally give you one of our uh, inventions. Uh, uh, joyous. You don't want it. Uh, you don't want the life. You don't no, want we to, want you to be able to try and change it. No. Destroy okay. it for us. Destroy okay, it. It's not ours. Rest. Someone okay. else is responsible for this. Not not us. Someone is joyous. has done this. What, yes. What did you? What were you asking me, Hero? It's five hundred more than twenty gold each. <laughs> five hundred more than twenty gold. Yeah. I mm. mean, I don't think the math is very accurate. Uh, um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> per, per, 200 per person or 200 at all? 500 Nothing gold pieces up. total. <laughs> you gain uh, from. Uh, uh, that's 125 for, per from, person, from, so yes, that's yeah, more. From interrogating the peep, the witnesses, you gain, you got 20 gold pieces each. So yes, that's 105 more gold per person, or round. Uh, five, uh, 125 gold pieces to be exact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of gold. Yes, but it how is. Much do we have to give, how much do we give to Persevane, though? He is the leader. Uh, He's still in our true. establishment, and you kind of, for the time being, you have not paid rent yet. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> we haven't paid rent. <laughs> well, we Let's know that 20 is a lot. So we Hold can get on. 20 gold. Let, no, let me, let me see how much it would be if I divided it. By, it's about 100 gold per person if I divide by 5 people. So we can give them 100 gold. Mm. That'll be enough for all of us to stay. This is where we will end today. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is uh, a good place to end for today and begin a mission next Sunday. I agree. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. We just have to find out where to look first. Um, well, we have something to look forward in terms yeah. to. We have Reynold Never Ember to go talk to. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have and to find him, we, yes. Uh, and we can look for this. This might be. Might take a while to go all across the city with the thingy with the umbrella, so. Uh, it's only one specific. foot long, so it's not big. It's a copper construction with a number of a, like metallic mm. protrusions. It's still odd. <laughs> yeah, it's still, still odd, but we'll you, raise you, you, can, you, can, you can actually put it in a backpack, so yeah, it's not that okay. big. Anyway. But then you have to like press it in order to. Yeah, in order to for, uh, yeah. In order so for we have it to hold work. it. Yeah. Yes. So we have to be holding it. Um, I will talk to you guys next session. Yeah. It was good meeting you. I'm yeah. Sorry for oh, yeah, yeah. This is this yeah. nice to meet you guys. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, Shan, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let, let's just hope that uh, <laughs> Casey can join us uh, next week and we can be a full party. But mm. I have a feeling you might need her. And her services. <laughs> yeah, I not, feel not like a, it would have not been... Not Dale, uh, Dale's services, though. Different services. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Definitely. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys next week. Yeah. Bye. Yep. Okay. Good well, game, everyone. Bye. GG. Bye, everyone. <laughs> GG, guys. See you next week. See you next week. So... Hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, we were one play short today, so... Uh, we continue a lot with the role play, and uh, yeah, as always, if you're new to the channel, please join uh, join the community, and uh, also check out uh, my link down below, uh, and uh, check out my YouTube channel, uh, YouTube channel where I upload every episode, so you can keep up with the. With the story. Anyway, uh, it's been fun, and see you guys. And see you guys next week, or 
maybe on any of my other streams. Anyway, good night and happy gaming. <laughs>